Hey everyone, this is Dean with DCA Crypto. Got some major updates in this video, guys, and show you what my strategy is for this bull run and when I plan to cash out on it. So I'd appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and let's jump into it. All right, today we're gonna be covering several different things in this video. It's gonna be a shorter video, but I got a lot of stuff packed into this video, so let's jump into it here. So first off, the whitelist sale for the Sonic nodes was supposed to go live yesterday. We got them to postpone it by one day because there was a bunch of people in my community and that and other communities that got into the tier one bid sale. They weren't gonna be able to get the refund because there was like 21,000 nodes that people tried to buy 21,000 nodes, but there was only 3,000 available. So they were gonna refund the other uh, 18,000, but uh, they weren't gonna get their refund in time for the whitelist sale yesterday. So we said, you know, maybe we should wait so those people can get their money back and then they'll be able to participate in the whitelist sale. So that's what they did. They postponed it by one day. They also noticed that the amount of traffic that was coming to the website right before the sale went was gonna go live was having an impact on the website's functionality. So they were supposed to correct that while they're waiting for this, uh, you know, one one day post uh, one day postponing of the whitelist sale. So as of this video, it should be going live about an hour from the when this video goes live at 9 a.m. Eastern. Uh, so if you got into the whitelist, you can purchase those and you'll be able to actually purchase tiers one through eight, not just tiers two through eight. They decided that they were just gonna refund everybody for the uh, bidding on the tier one and then they were going to have just put the, the uh, tier one nodes in the whitelist sale so you can still get the tier one nodes everybody can qualify for those but you're going to have to be extremely early because uh, there was a demand of 21,000 for those nodes and at tier one price and there's only 3,000 of them so there's going to be a major demand for this whitelist sale today so you're probably going to have to be extremely fast if you want to grab them at least at the first couple tiers uh, but if you use my code, you get 10% off. The first tier, I think, is around $150 or $155, somewhere in that range. And then you get 10% off with my coupon. So it's going to put it somewhere around $145 or $140, somewhere in that range. So, um, you know, look out for that whitelist sale. The link for that will be in the description below. Uh, it's too late to get in on the whitelist. Uh, that ended last night. They did extend the whitelist by one day as well, but I didn't get a chance to notify you guys of that so if you were interested hopefully you got in so enough of that i just want to let you know that it is going live here shortly uh, and by the time you're watching this video if it's after 9 a.m eastern the sale is already live so we jump into the bitcoin dominance chart here this is what we're kind of waiting for here bitcoin dominance is at almost 59 percent as of this recording it's at its highest level you can see here the dominance of bitcoin versus alts has been just slowly climbing that's why alts have been getting crushed this is what um, you know some people have been saying was going to happen for months now and it is happening uh, but I've just been DCAing this whole time and adding more to my portfolio it crushes alts when Bitcoin does this but if you look it hasn't been at these levels since March of 2021 so I expect it to get you know slightly higher here so we could see some more bleed uh, now Bitcoin could pump and alts may stay where they are and that could put the dominance higher or uh, Bitcoin could have a correction and alts could have a bigger correction than Bitcoin and that would still push its dominance higher. So it could work either way. Uh, the main thing is, is that Bitcoin dominance is going to be continually pushed higher until it, you know, it gets up into the 60 some percent. Then we should get our bull run in our alt season once that happens. Typically Bitcoin runs first then the bigger alts run and then the lower alts. And I'm going to show you some examples of that and how I plan on trying to play this in the bull run you know it's just a strategy it may not be perfect nobody can time the market perfectly because every cycle is a little bit different so we have to keep that in mind but i'm going to try to time this as best as i can to take on my profits and i'll show you my strategy for that so this chart here is the current bitcoin chart uh, we have a green candle on the daily from the fomc meeting news uh, they decided to do a 50 point uh, rate cut so that's a half percent so I was hoping or thinking they were only gonna do 0.25 but they end up doing a half a percent so far the market's been holding up with it and we haven't seen any big correction but I think usually what they happens in crypto is usually they'll crush the 
uh, people who were uh, shorting the market first and then they'll crush the people who are long in the market so we might see some volatility over the next few days even as of you know as, even as you're watching this there may have been some volatility in the market or we could just stay where we're at but usually there's some kind of volatility uh, around the news of events like this so we could see a pump and then a dump usually the, what they want to do is people who are using leverage in the market they want to knock out people who are shorting the market and then they want to knock out people who are long in the market or vice versa use it, it can work either way sometimes they'll knock out the shorts and then they'll knock out the longs in this case they may not knock out the shorts and then the longs or they may knock out the longs and then the shorts it just depends on how they how they play it it can play it either way but typically they they crush both and then we accumulate for a while and then we make a move in the market so we'll see what happens here but so far nothing drastic has changed with the market with this news of them doing a full half a percent cut instead of a 0.25 percent so i want to show you some things here um as to why i think you know if we look at the last bull run we started taking off in october after the halving and then you know into de into december and january we had a little bit of a correction in january and then we took off again into February and March. And then we had a correction here in April. This was a pretty decent correction. Uh, some people got you know, hurt pretty bad with this correction. There was a pretty big correction here too, an even deeper correction from, you know what, um, like 58,000 all the way down to 43,000 in one month. So you can see there are some big swings in the market during the bull run even. Uh, and then, you know, finally in may we had this big deep crash here and then we had that summer lull crash and then we took off again now bitcoin made a slightly new all-time high with this this uh back here was when some of the um some of the alts ran pretty hard and and that was it they were done after this run in like in march and april they were done making their run and uh, they crashed and never recovered and then some other altcoins took off and made extremely new all-time highs so you don't want to be completely out of the market by the time this summer lull happens if we get one we don't know for sure what the market's going to do in previous bull cycles there was just a blow off top where we had a really high peak and then we just crashed all the way down and that was it last bull run we made we had a double top so it'd be interesting to see what happens this bull run we may get another double top we may get a triple top we may have a blow off top we may not have a bull run, but I'm expecting that we will. Um, you know, we could have potentially had our bull run already, but I doubt it. Uh, you know, with interest rates being cut, more money should be flowing into riskier assets now going forward over the course of the next several months. So hopefully that is the case and we get this bull run. So how I'm planning on playing this? Well, on the way up here, I'm going to be taking my profits out in increments, you know, 5%, 10%, 20%, so on. But by March and April, by April, I want to be out of my coins for the majority of my coins. Cashed out is the current plan of my current portfolio. And I want to be mostly out of the market, maybe 60 to 75% out by here and taking all my profits out by March or April in case we get this summer crash like we did last time. And if we don't, and this could be where the bull market ends, or we may just slowly take off and we may not peak until September or December next year. We don't know for sure what's going to happen. So either way, I'm not, you know, right now this is my strategy to cash out by here. If we don't take off until later in the in the year, uh, then I'll be, you know, I'll cash out on the way up. But my main thing is, is I want to continue to cash out on the way up. And, you know, depending on how far we go up in the market, I may be, you know, mostly cashed out by April, potentially, uh, if we get a big move up like we have in the past. If we don't get a big move up, then there may not be any point in cashing out. You know, if I don't get like a 10x or more on some of my micro caps um you know it may not be time to cash out on those i'll just hold them and see what happens but uh, the big thing is is by april i want to try to be mostly out in case we get this summer crash if we've had a big move up by then which hopefully we will and then even though i've cashed out a lot of my portfolio the potential for us to take off again towards the end of the year if we get a summer crash 
is there. If we keep moving up and keep moving up, I'm just going to keep cashing out on the way up, and that's how I'm going to play that either way. So I got a plan for either strategy, but I'll still have, you know, by this time, I'd still have potentially 25 to 30 percent of my portfolio left for the rest of this bull run. Plus, I've got nodes generating tokens every day, and I've got a bunch of in, uh, projects that I was an early investor in, and the seed round, and private round, and KOL round, and stuff like that, where those are going to be continually giving me tokens monthly as well. So I'll have about 25 to 30 percent of my portfolio, maybe a little more, left. Plus, I'll have no tokens coming in and tokens from early investments that I made. So I'm still going to have a constant flow of tokens coming in that I'll be able to cash out on the way up if we continue to go up like we did the last time. Because I'll show you exactly here why you don't want to be fully out of the market by April. Uh, that that could be a big mistake. And it was, um, you know, I made a big mistake last bull run. So did a lot of people. I didn't cash out anything by this time, which was one mistake. My other mistake was is when we had the big crash, I assumed the bull run is over and I sold. I panic sold because I thought in May here the bull run was over. That was a big mistake and it cost me a couple hundred thousand dollars by doing that. I'll show you here why. This chart is mana. I had 40,000 mana tokens. I purchased them somewhere in this range here uh, I think in February or something in the 25 cent range I had like 50,000 mana tokens and it moved up to you know like a dollar or 57 or something here and so you know I had a good amount uh, you know I had like I don't know what was a dollar fifty times fifty thousand seventy five thousand dollars in mana tokens at this point and I never took out any profits even though I you know got them down here I never took out any profits because I assumed we were gonna keep going higher and higher we didn't we had that summer correction and it crashed all the way down and when it got down to like that 40 some cent level I cashed out because I you know, I like panic sold and I was freaking out thinking it was gonna go to zero uh, I didn't really lose any money uh, but I missed out on something. I'll show you exactly what happened because because I panic sold here and I moved it into some other coins that already ran up and never recovered from this move. Some coins never recovered from this move. Well, mana did. And you can see here what I missed out on. It shot all the way up to like $6. And I could have had like $300,000 if I would have just held on to it potentially. So... <laughs> Whether I would have cashed out at the top here or not is another story because, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing at the time. But, you know, I missed out on this move because I was completely out of the market by this point. I moved my fund in, into some micro caps hoping those would recover and those didn't recover. But some of these bigger gaming coins and that did recover and made completely new all-time highs. You can see this was uh, like four times what it did here back in April and May. So... I missed out on this because I panic sold. So don't panic sell. That's one lesson. The other lesson is is you don't want to be completely on the market in case it does this. And this is what uh, November 21st is when this peaked out. So you don't want to be completely on the market because by you know October, November of next year, we could peak out and you could miss out on this with some of your coins. So that's another lesson to be learned. Don't be a hundred percent out of the market and uh, don't panic sell. So that's another mistake that I learned. Hopefully you guys will learn from this mistake and not cash out completely. Unless you're satisfied 100% with the gains that you've made and you don't want to risk it anymore, then it's perfectly okay to do that. Uh, and it's really up to you. This is not financial advice. I can't tell you what the market's going to do. I couldn't have predicted this, uh, but I'm trying to... I'm trying to plan in case it happens either way. So I want to take my profits out on the way up. And then if we do get a crash in the summertime, I'll have good profits by then. But I'll still have some skin in the game with what I've left in my portfolio in case we go higher. And I'll still have tokens coming in from node projects and early investments. So those people who are in my Discord know uh, they've gotten into a lot of these projects with me. They may have a similar strategy as me. I don't know. Uh, that's up to them and what they want to do. This is what I plan on doing right now and how I'm going to play this bull run. I'm not suggesting you guys do the same. I'm just saying think about 
the possibilities and make decisions based on what you think could happen because nobody knows what this is going to do. You know, we may peak out by December this year and that's it, we're done. Or we may not get a bull run for some reason. I think we will, and that's what I'm counting on. I think what we saw earlier was just like 2019 where we had a big move up and we had a big correction. And then after the halving, we took off into a bull run like we always have. I think that's potentially what's going to happen here. I think towards the end of this year, we start moving up into that bull run. Hopefully that is the case, I, you know, but I don't have a crystal ball. I'm just trying to play this the best way I can and pray that my investments do well. Pray that the tokens that I'm invested in that haven't launched yet launch towards the end of this year. And hopefully it's the right timing. Hopefully we get a good bull run. Hopefully we make good profits. You know, it's really been a strange market. A lot of projects that launched since March that I was an early investor in, I'm down on big time. So, uh, you know, some of my coins I'm down, you know, 50% or more that I was an early investor in. Uh, you know, the coins are the price because the market's been so crappy for all coins and Bitcoin. Bitcoin's dominance keeps going, keeps going up and crushing the altcoins prices. You know, it's you know some of us who got into these projects early, the price of the tokens now are less than what we paid for it as an early investor in the project. So some of the prices out there right now are absolute steals on these projects. Fury's one of them. Um, Private AI, um, um, Lake AI, those are all down from the early investor price pretty much, um, and. Uh, Aether Games is another one that's way down. Um, Xverse, that's another one that's way down. A lot of gaming and AI coins are way down from what they were um, when I got into them as an early investor before they even launched. So, you know, it is what it is. The market's been brutal. The only thing I'm in profit on right now, really, as far as early investments are, is, is Portal. Um, you know, that was the only early investment ICO that I got in that I'm still in a profit at. Thankfully, that one's kept my portfolio afloat for all the other investments that I got in. Most of my projects haven't even launched yet that I invested in because the market's just been crap and they don't want to launch because they've seen what happened to the other projects that have launched since March, since we had the correction. Uh, they just keep dumping over the summer and into the fall. They just keep selling off and selling off as early investors getting their tokens. Some of them are selling them at a loss. I'm not going to sell mine at a loss. I'm just going to hold on to them and hope that we get a bull run hope everything recovers but you know things can turn, can turn around really quick some of these coins that are you know like fury it's only at like a two million market cap it would you know as you guys seen in march it's nothing from a two million market cap to go from two million to hundreds of millions within a couple months or a couple weeks that's nothing for a project to do that so i don't want to sell and then we turn bullish and then the price that i you know had before is now super cheap and I could have had it at 2 million market cap, and now it's like 100 and some million or 500 million or billion or whatever it could end up being. Uh, things can turn around really fast in crypto, so I don't sell when I'm at a loss. I just try to add more to my portfolio and get my dollar cost average down. That's my strategy with it. But that's pretty much what I got for this video, guys. Uh, we'll have to see if this uh, FOMC meeting has uh, any effect in the market. Also, if you were invested in Agent Layer, I forgot to tell you guys, you can start claiming your tokens. I was able to claim all of my Agent Layer tokens with no penalty today. I was able to claim all of them uh, for the most part. So the problem is the token launched at, it was at like 1.5 cents or something ridiculous. Um, so I'm not happy with the, the price of the token right now. But I think Agent Layer is a good project and I... I think it'll get potentially up to a dollar or more in this bull run because it's a decent AI project and the market cap on it is super low uh, for the supply of the token. It's really low price and, you know, I think it's going to do much better than where it's at now. So keep that in mind. It could have just really dumped hard today because people that got their purchase of nodes, a lot of them might have claimed their tokens and just sold right away, but I'm not going to sell mine at these prices. I'll wait until it recovers and the market turns bullish and AI gets hot because I think the price will turn around on it and we'll see uh, hopefully good returns on those. So that's pretty much what I got for this video, guys. Don't forget to check out my free Telegram group. You can join that if you're interested. Also, don't forget to uh, uh, join my Discord Patreon membership if you're interested in that as well. And I share all my trades and everything in there with everybody right when they happen. And if you're interested, and if you guys need a VPN, you guys can check out NordVPN. They can give you up to four months free. That's pretty much what I got for this video, guys. We'll see you on the next one.